So a long time ago, I made this shelf right here to put my stains on. Ever since, it has been filled up with paints and books and tools and everything else. Anything I need to put down somewhere, I just throw it on there. So I want to get away from that. So I came up with an idea to make a shelf to go right there that will just be for stains. Keep it clean, keep it uh, from getting all dusty and cobwebby. So without further ado, here's what I came up with. Alright, well here's what I came up with. Looks like a decorative mirror, which it is. Uh, behind the mirror, it opens up with two shelves there, and then underneath I've got some different finishing oils and stuff. So, uh, there we go. Now all my stains are right there where I know they're going to be easy to find. All my paints are with the paints. Adhesives are with the adhesives. So, there it is. So I found this old template uh, for a Chippendale wall mirror. Thought I'd give it a shot, so I found this old wood a buddy of mine had given me. Cut it out to the size of the width of the template and uh, cut it out, spray adhesive it down. And there's four wings, two at the top and two at the bottom. Uh, had some of that same type of wood laying around. Uh, did the same here. I went ahead and used the bandsaw to cut out most of the excess. Alright, so that's a lot of scroll saw work to do. So while I'm busy doing that scroll saw work, uh, meanwhile I'm going to go ahead and get started cutting these frames. So we're going to get over here to the miter saw. Uh, first, actually, I'm going to plane up these boards that I've got that came out of a pallet. They're real rough. And uh, I'm going to clean those up a little bit. And then uh, cut these frames, run them to the router table, and let's make this happen. So with the miter saw set up to 45 degrees, I set up a stop block and went ahead and cut those. And then I planed all the sides and gave it a little light sanding. Now I run it through the router here, the router table for enough for the mirror to go in the center and then again on the outside for the wings and the, uh, all the scroll work to go in. The scroll work also had to be run through the router table and where they meet halfway so that they just hit flush on the front face. Now I glued up all the scroll work and now them in place, let them sit for the next day. I came back the next day and put in some of this spackling and a couple of the little gaps that were there. Then came back the next day <laughs> and sanded it up a little bit. Took it outside and spray painted it white. Took a few coats to get in there, a lot of nooks and crannies to reach. Then I came through with a small little chamfer bit and put a light edge all the way around it and left it unpainted. So here for the shelf, I set this up right at about a 30 degree angle. Using a 2 by 10 I cut those. And for each shelf here, you measure for your own shelf. I think I went with a 17 inch on each side and 14 inch on each shelf. And I used uh, pocket holes here. Use that cup to trace out a circle. Cut this out so that my door with that scroll work would be able to open. Glued and screwed that top. That bottom shelf into place. Pocket hold the side, to make sure they're 90 degrees. And I measured 10 inches up from my shelf inside, leaving room for my tallest pins to go inside. Pocket hold that, and then just put screws in the top, glued all the joints. I cut out this quarter inch plywood here to. Glue and brad nail into the back. I have it totally open closed. For the back, I decided to go with a dark stain that would kind of match the wall so that this white frame would really uh, contrast it and set itself apart. 
We just had these old hinges lying around and put two of those on the side. Now all you gotta do is take down all your old stuff, replace your shelf and put in the stuff you want there. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, be sure to click right here and subscribe. And uh, have a good one.